Hey there, Harji with Corsair here. Today we're going to talk you through setting up the HS60 haptic gaming headset. But before we talk about the setup, let's go over what makes this headset haptic. The HS60 haptic utilizes a haptic base powered by Taction technology that widens the range of perceptible low-end frequencies in your games and content to produce a haptic effect. This not only triggers the sense of sound as you would expect, but your sense of touch as well. Question is, how does this benefit gamers? Imagine bringing the battlefield onto your desktop as you feel enemy fire just barely missing you or the rumbling of a nearby tank or airplane passing over you. It not only enhances the experience of your gameplay by making it feel more real, but can also allow you to react a bit faster since the sense of touch is a much faster neural pathway. When you first unbox your new HS60 haptic gaming headset, the physical setup is pretty straightforward with very few steps. All you need to do is pop out the protective microphone rubber cap on the headset, plug in the detachable mic that comes with it, and the windscreen at the end of the mic. To ensure that the HS60 haptic has enough power delivery, use one of the USB ports at the back of your motherboard instead of the ports on the front panel of your PC case. Once you see the white LED light up on the right ear cup, then you should be ready to go. On the left ear cup, you'll find the volume control and the mic mute button. On the right ear cup, you'll find the haptic control to help you dial in the intensity of the haptic effect. In addition, you may also use IQ for audio control such as adjusting the microphone gain and side tone, enabling virtual surround sound, tweaking the equalizer with five EQ presets, or you can create your own. And that's it for the HS60 haptic gaming headset. Be sure to check out Corsair Lab for more guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from us and we'll see you in the next one.